Justin Jackson alone back. Goff's going to throw it. Back and looking. Throws wide open left side. Brock Wright with it. To the 30. Brock Wright 25. Brock Wright 20. Comes back at the 10. To the 5. Yes. To the end zone. Touchdown Detroit Lions. Oh my. 51 yards. Goff to Brock Wright. And the Lions are back in front. Oh baby. See, that is my favorite part. And when I hear him call, I wait for him to say, oh, baby, how yes. good is that? That's like my favorite part. Dan, the man Miller, mm -hmm. uh, the call in the Lions game, they just released this footage of him in the press box calling the game. And there is nothing like listening to Dan Miller call a Lions game, especially when they're winning especially when they're winning. And it's great. I mean, he's oh, our... Oh, baby! <laughs> our Dan Miller, but at Michigan's Dan Miller yeah. because people yeah. are literally flocking to whatever report he's on. They yeah. don't, they'll turn down mm -hmm. the TV and listen to Dan because you know what it else. is. You know what it is? When, they're, when they, the network guys, are doing the game, no matter what network, Sometimes they don't focus in on yeah. our players as well as Dan does. I'll just put it that way. Other people say they're biased. I agree. Mm, I do uh, a little but bit. It's, they are. They so. are. And Towards so, Detroit, it's, right? Yes. The city? Biased yeah. toward us as a city yeah. or a team. And when Dan starts calling the game, you can turn on the radio, yeah. put Dan on, and still have Detroit the game love. on the TV, but yeah. then be listening to Dan. It's just hard to sync them up sometimes. Yeah. Hard to sync them up. But I love it. Me too. <laughs> oh, <Thanks>. baby. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, thank you so much uh, for watching the noon. I'm Maria Lou Lee Thomas here as well. How thank you doing? I am doing very well. It is a good day, and it feels like the holidays. It I walked. Does. I walked by a little break room, mm -hmm. which is by our office, this yes. is down the hall there. It just smelled good in there. One it of the did. editors, shooters, Troy, one of the cameramen, he was in there with his uh, lunch. People are having. I believe people are having early holiday meals. Well, not me, but some are. I, um, I wasn't pointing a finger at anybody, okay, but you I, just I, said I that so attacked. fast, you're making I'm me sorry. think. I you know what attacked. I mean? Is there any gravy? Can you see me? All right. Is there anything I didn't say, I said actually Troy in there, okay. but then you Your took it like differently. Your eyes were looking at me, though. I mean, but we're anchoring the show together. I have to oh, look at I you. Oh, okay, I forgot. Okay. I'm just saying, I no. felt attacked. Was um, it good? It was good if I would have eaten anything. <laughs> I almost got you again. There's also a box of donuts outside. Oh. I don't know who put those there. I didn't even see those. They look delicious if anyone wanted to partake in those. Just saying. You don't see, I'm good, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, good. Let's talk about this one. I don't know if the New York Times is good. People are calling the New mm. York Times for a recent, calling out the New York Times for a recent crossword layout. Shockingly, it's in a shape that I don't want to even tell you the shape. And it's right around the first night of Hanukkah is when they do this, uh, they put this new crossword out. Just take a look. Now, I'm not telling you what that is the shape of, but it looks like a swastika. <laughs> okay? Here is Sunday's puzzle. Look at the center grid. It's the first day of Hanukkah, and that is the one they put together. Now, it's described as a simple, fun whirlpool shape, but obviously no one had those same thoughts. Many are blasting the New York Times for an anti-Semitic design, regardless of whether or not it was intentional. Oof. Now, they're saying, how did no one approve this? Or how did it get by being approved without someone noticing? But the New York Times seems to be sticking to their guns, saying a spokesperson for the company told the Jewish Chronicle that this is a common crossword design. Now, does it look like a swastika? Does it look like a swastika? Is there an argument for it not looking like one? I think you have to listen to the people um, that are offended by it. Mm -hmm. And I think it would be not anyone else's place to say whether or not they have the right to be offended. If they are, then yeah, you just have to be careful and they should make the appropriate changes, the New York Times. How does that happen on the first day of Hanukkah? I don't know. It's, it's unfortunate. It's, they saying it's a mistake. Take yeah. them at their word and yeah. allow I mean, are them we not to move on. It was a, I mean, the, no. the only two <laughs> options are it was a mistake or somebody did it on purpose. Or it doesn't look like a swastika. Or that one. But you have to acknowledge the people that are offended. Well, I understand what you're saying. I, I understand. Say. Acknowledge that's what the, they're saying mm -hmm. and say that wasn't our intention and right. just say we'll fix it in the future. Right. Don't go with the we do this it all wouldn't. the time. We didn't do that. That's, or the that's not. This is our favorite shape. Or, or yeah. what? It's a whirlpool. Right. Maybe just eh. just go with you know what. Oh. Our bad. 
We'll Didn't see it. that until you said something. Thank you for bringing it to our attention, and we will not use this anymore. Something like that. Good job, Mario. I should Lou. run the New York Times. You should. <laughs> You should. That's a good job. You That's like a good that? I do love that perspective. Okay, thank you. Good yeah, job. I think it's well the best done. way to go. Yes. Uh, Deion Sanders, a.k.a. Coach Prime, always had a theme song that everyone knew, uh, but his recent, um, I guess, toss to his theme music mm -hmm. got a little bit emotional. Now, here's how he used to do it. In my theme music. Yeah. Eventually. Give me my theme music! Yeah, they're trying. But um, he was in tears with his final emotional moment with Jackson State. Before this is how it game. went down. Yeah. Now. We love you, coach. Yes, sir. Now or never, man. Ah, oh, the NFL legend took over as head coach of Jackson State and put the university on the map, but yeah. he is leaving for the Colorado Buffaloes. Um, he did eventually get to his theme music. Yes. He, he, he had it through some tears. He said a few words that yeah. were poignant for the young men that were there. And then at the end, he said, give me my theme music. Oh. Like that. I know it was really emotional. And then they kicked it in, and everybody was like, yeah. It actually was a very emotional moment. I watched that a couple of times uh, uh, a couple of days ago when I saw it. I thought it was really uh, emotional. I don't know if it is a lesson in humanity or just maybe the fastest uh, turnaround for a narrative mm -hmm. um, that I have seen in quite some time. What do you but mean? well, the black community was upset with him for oh. leaving and he was accused of not oh, caring yeah, about yeah, the yeah, HBCUs yeah, and right. not, yeah. but you cannot watch a clip like that and think he doesn't care about those young men. You know what, and I think we talked about it when it happened. I said, he did not have to go there. Yeah. He's a multimillionaire already. Yeah. He put that place on the map, mm -hmm. Jackson State. He, he taught those kids well. They yes. became winners while yes. he was there. Yeah. And you saw he really put his heart into it because when he's leaving, if that's the way, he yeah. still had his theme music. Yeah. But it was hard for him to go with the connections and the young men that he, young boys that he grew into mm -hmm. men while he was there. Three years is a long time for a kid who starts with this coach. Absolutely. I feel Good like a, a lesson in a way to us all about yeah. being true to who you are. Yeah. And like sometimes, uh, you know, the press won't be positive and right. they don't really know your heart and what yeah. your goal is. But if you let that shine through, eventually yeah. everyone will catch up. And another lesson that mm. I would like to add to that, Please, Marielle, Mr. Thomas. Uh, everything that's happening right now is never gonna happen again. Me and you doing this, we never know what's gonna happen tomorrow. So I really enjoy what we do and enjoy what you have right now, people, because everything yeah. could change in a moment mm. and it does sometimes. So just know that Ooh, and do that. Because Coach organize. Prime knew that yeah. when he was there. And he's yeah, like, you felt I'm that. here right now. You learn from me right now. Yeah, good stuff, right? Oh, Lee, yeah. you're taking me there. Yeah, all Where's right the now. church organ? <laughs> all right now. <laughs> all right, we want to hear from you. What do you think? Hashtag The Noon on Facebook, on Twitter, or everywhere you are. We're reading your comments. Just make sure you keep it uh, civil if you can. It's only Tuesday. Right?